Hello and welcome back to Dance with Shaka Lee TV. I am Shaka, I'm a heels dancer and movement artist, and I'm here to bring some movement to your day. In this video, I will be showing you six different ways to get yourself to the floor. Okay, in heels dance, we are often doing floor work and there are many different ways to get yourself to the floor and I'm gonna show you six different ways in this video. This could spice up your freestyles or your choreography, whatever you'd like. So let's start. Okay, we are gonna start with least challenging to maybe more challenging. So the first way I always like to go down, which I like to call this a diamond down because you are creating a diamond shape with your legs. Down, and then your legs, your knees are right near the floor. All you're gonna do is hinge at the hips and drop the knees. What you don't wanna do is fall forward. That's not the goal. You wanna be able to hinge. So taking the pelvis, pushing it forward while taking your chest and keeping it back so that your knees can touch the ground. And then you can remove your feet and sit back on them and you can go anywhere you'd like because you are now on the floor. Just going through that again. Our knees come down, but our chest stays lifted so that you can hinge and get into this position before you naturally sink all the way down, yes? It's important to get those toes out from underneath you because you're gonna stay very stuck and this is not what we like in heels dance. The second way I use from the exact same position, your knees are out and you are in your little diamond down. So from here, you can choose to do this on either side, but you wanna take your entire one side of your body, so knee and hand, let's do the right, we wanna put it on the ground, okay? So your knee is going to come closed to where your other leg is and on the floor, yes, make that connection there. And your hand is gonna go out in front of you. So pick it kind of like a diagonal of your little box and put it right here where you can naturally put your weight into it and feel good. Now, your knee is on the ground, your hand is on the ground, and this foot is still on the ground. So these are your three points of contact. You're now gonna take your hips, you're gonna lift them off your feet, you're gonna remove your feet underneath you by putting weight in your hand, and then you're gonna drop onto your hip. And here you are, you're on the floor. Ta 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 ta. Now, what, another thing I like to do is I like to add an arm so that it kind of takes the attention away from what's happening down here. So if you were to close down here, I like to bring the arm up sometimes, or sometimes I also like to bring it over my head. Yes? So using this foot behind you, this anchored foot here, I like to sometimes push myself forward. So if you have covered knees, you can now push with this back foot pushing off and sliding on that knee to come onto your hip and sit here, okay? So that's the second way. Yes, we'll review that one more time. You're here, your feet should be underneath your sit bones, so not too close where you're toppling over and not too far where you can't really have the same mobility. You wanna have them right underneath your sit bones. You wanna close, let's do the other side. You wanna close here and then drop the knee to the ground. You wanna put the hand on the ground and then you wanna lift the hips, push off from your back foot to push and sit on the ground right there, exactly like that. I like to keep my ankles together and my knees together until my next move, just so you don't come onto the floor and you're all like, what happens now? Keep everything closed together, it'll make it so, so much easier. Okay, the third one again, from the same position. This is a great position to get onto the floor. Um, this one is very similar, but a little bit more advanced. So let's pick a side. We are going to now this time, instead of taking the knee to the floor, we are gonna put our hand on the floor first, and we're going to stretch this leg out straight in front of us. Yes, putting the, the toe on the floor, but not the whole body. We don't wanna just do this and sit and sink you wanna stay nice and lifted. So again, you're gonna to wanna to cross this leg, but don't put the knee on the ground. Yes, keep it up. Put this arm on the floor. Now take this leg, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. You are now lifting yourself. Your three points of contact are that foot, this back foot, and this hand. Yes, it's gonna take a little bit more strength. And then from here, you can now put yourself down and let's say maybe you're closing the feet. Maybe you are kicking the leg up. There's many different things you can do once you're here, but maybe, maybe it's this. 
you know? So there's many different things you can do, but adds, you wanna make sure your leg is straight out, straight out, straight out, as far as it can go, and then you wanna put your hip down and close everything else up, okay? Let's try from the other side. So you're gonna close this leg in front, you're gonna put this hand down, then you're gonna extend this leg out, 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 out. I like to keep this hand either on my leg, it can come around your head, whatever you like, and then you're gonna put your booty on the ground and you're going to close the legs, do whatever you'd like. Once the leg is out here, it is yours to play with. Once your booty is on the floor, you are on the floor. Okay, now we are gonna to get to a couple more challenging ways to get to the floor that you'll start from standing. Now this will take different levels of experience, mobility, flexibility, and strength. Okay, so the first way I like to think of it, you're in a wide stance, yes. You're in a wider stance than hip width. You're really nice and wide, and you wanna be able to touch the floor. So anything where you can touch the floor without bending your legs is what you're aiming for. So if your legs have to be a lot wider to be able to touch the floor, that is okay, you want to make sure you avoid this lovely position, okay? Not ideal, not ideal, um, <laughs> but there will be a point where you do bend your legs, so don't get too caught up on that, but you wanna be able to touch the ground with straight legs first, and then go into the bend after, okay? So this is how it's going to look. You're gonna start wide legs, you're gonna take your hands all the way to the ground, now this could be slow, this could be fast, whatever you like, but your hands are gonna to touch the ground, you're gonna put weight into your hands, and then you're going to take off your feet from the floor, and jump into a bit of a sit, okay? Now this needs a bit of momentum or else it can feel a little challenging. So if you were going in a much faster pace, you were going all the way down, you were throwing your hands into the floor, jumping into those knees, yes. Remember when you jump into those knees, they are not necessarily hitting the floor with full force. You can, as you can see from the side, you can go down and ha ha. So it's really the top of the foot that is landing first and guiding your, your whole leg to the the ground like so okay so you'd be landing on this part of the shoe all the way down and it would guide your knees to the ground you don't want your knees coming in first that is not safe okay so from the front this is what it looks like you go all the way down grab the floor you jump into a seat and now you're here you can get on the floor however you like or from the side you can see it your straight legs, wide, wide stance, you're all the way down here, you touch the floor, you jump in, and you sit like that. Okay, this next way is even more fun. So, like the other one, you are still going to have a bit of a jump, but this time you're gonna keep your legs together. Now, this time you won't be asked to keep your legs straight the whole time. It's definitely not possible. So, you wanna think a bit, I'm gonna do it diagonally so you can see. You wanna think of jumping into a squatted position with your hands on the floor here, getting ready on the tips of your toes, so don't put weight into the heels, it's not gonna help you. You wanna put your weight into the tips of the toes, and again, you wanna think of jumping off those toes and shooting your feet together and back. And you're gonna land again on the tops of those feet first, and they're gonna guide the rest of your body down so that you can stay safe. Now you're here, you can, you can shoot the booty back, you can flatten to the floor, whatever is calling your name afterwards. But that's our way of getting down number five. So one more time, you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna drop them into the ground, use that momentum full force, jump your legs back and straight. You wanna make sure your ankles are staying together and your feet are pointed. What you don't want is this. ka -cha. No, not have. Not, not pretty, not lovely. So we're gonna keep those legs together, feet pointed, ankles together. Jump back, and you could continue to push back. You could roll out of it. You could roll around, fan kick, anything that your heart desires. And the sixth and final way to get to the floor that I think is really fun includes a spin, okay? So again, this is more at an experienced level. If you choose not to do this one or try it today, that's totally fine. There's many other ones that you can play with for now. So for this one, you are going to start in a bit of a prep. We're, we're, we can try this on both sides as well. You're gonna start with a bit of a prep, so that means putting all your weight into one side. Let's say it's gonna be our right, so we can turn on our left. Now, you wanna bring your hands into the body and your leg into the body again, so that you can spin, okay? That's what our spin's gonna look like, pretty simple. Hands and feet come into the body, and you're going all the way around full 360. Now what's gonna help is this prep, okay? 
okay? The arms actually do most of the work depending with your shoes and the floor that you're on, how slippery and how much they work together for things. Um, so if you're lucky and you don't need a lot of effort, you can utilize your arms and just bring them in and that will spin you around. To stop spinning, <laughs> because sometimes that can be a problem too, you just wanna think of putting your heel on the ground, yes? When you're spinning, your heel is off the ground and then when you wanna stop, put it on the ground like a little break. Okay, so again, this is over here. You're prepping, using those arms, shooting them in and bringing them down. Um, you can kinda have some finesse if you want to curl them in and drop them down or you can just tighten them to the body. Either way is fine. So at that same time though, you're going to be lowering yourself with this standing spinning leg. This is where it gets tricky. Putting those two together is gonna look like this, okay? Again, stopping is hard. You can either stop by putting your heel down or you can actually throw yourself into the ground with your hands so that it can continue your momentum into a whole nother move that would, whatever you'd like. Okay, so starting over here, we're prepping, we're spinning, we're dropping, and we're on the floor, however you like. You can stop here if you can have the control to stop with yourself upright. If you can't, you can stop here. And then again, you are on the floor, your hands and your knee are on the floor, so already you have the ability to get into different floor positions. Yes, let's try the other side. So, we're putting all our weight over here, our arms are coming out, we're spinning on this leg this time, yes? So pulling it in, and spinning, okay? But at the same time, you are going to make a little drop in levels. So, hands out, prep, spin and drop, and then however you wanna get out of this, boom, boom, ba -ba boom you're here, yes? So, fun, fun things for you to play with. One more time on this side, we're over here. We spin down to the ground and you can get down in whatever way you want. You can even put those together. So once you're on the floor, you can think of when we were on the floor over here and your hand comes out and you extend the leg or maybe you wanna extend the leg fully before you drop. There's many different ways you can connect all of these together. So that's my video on six different ways to get yourself to the ground. And if you love these thigh high boots, which are great, they're great for floor work. They give you a bit of nice protection on the knees. They're made of real leather and they lace up the sides, all lovely. You can find a discount code in the description so that you can get yourself a pair of these amazing Appeal Official Thigh High Boots. So I hope this video was helpful, gave you some new things to think about when you're freestyling or new tools to use in your choreography. Please let me know if there's anything else you'd love for me to teach in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe for more dance content from me. And if you'd like, you can come dance with me and learn some tutorials that I have on my website. So I hope to dance with you soon. And thanks so much for watching. And I will see you next time.